Every school has their favorite traditions, but for Sweetwater Intermediate students, joining the jump rope team can be a <laughs> rite of passage. KRBC's Noah, Noah McKinney takes us a hop, skip, and a jump over to Sweetwater, where the 2022 jump rope team is performing just one more time. Okay, here we go. It's like moving a small army. It really is a really wiggly army. Coordinating a 55 child jump rope team is no small task, but at Sweetwater Intermediate, it's a time honored tradition that began 34 years ago under the tutelage of Coach Liz Miller. We didn't know what we were doing. We just uh, got a bunch of kids and turned some music on and decided, you know, if we can all jump at the same time, then we'll make a jump rope team. And from those humble beginnings, state and even world jump rope championships were won, for which Miller and current coach Joe Bob Usry agree dedication is key. People understand you're going to put time into it if you're going to be on the jump rope team. A work ethic that's well known, whether in 2022, 7.20 a.m., be here every day. Because if you're late, 20 push-ups, get down. Or 1988. Grown adults come up to me and go, Oh, you broke my heart in fourth and fifth grade. I didn't make the jump rope team. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. But those that do make the cut work hard and show up, culminating in their final performance at the Texas Tech halftime show. Crazy how many people there were. I got really nervous, but it was fun at the end. And though these kids say they're sad to be leaving the team, they're excited for the next team to jump in line. I'm just so proud. I'm just so proud that it's continued. Never thought 34 years ago this is where it would still be. For BigCountryHomePage.com, I'm Noah McKinney. Thank you, Noah. Miller says the team was initially started during the National Jump Rope for Heart campaign. She says some of the kids she once taught are now in their 40s and they continue to jump rope even now.